Earlier this evening, the members of the SpaceX Crew 11 undocked from the International Space Station, beginning their journey back to Earth. The crew is leaving a month early after NASA announced that an unnamed member of the team experienced an undisclosed medical concern. This is the first time in the International Space Station's 25-year history that NASA is bringing a crew home early. Joining us now is Clayton Anderson, a former NASA astronaut who spent time on the International Space Station. He's also the award-winning author of the book, The Ordinary Spaceman. So good to have you. As someone who's been to space and you've gone through the process of disembarking, what's happening now as the crew gets ready to return to Earth? Well, there's lots of things to worry about. They had some late packing issues, I think, that they've surmounted and they've undocked now. And they're just floating and enjoying uh, some time to be amongst themselves alone as a crew as they get ready to do their deorbit burn, which will put them on a trajectory to splash down um, sometime around 2 or 2.30 this morning, this coming morning. Looking at this early return, does this raise any questions for you? I mean, I know that it is the first time this has happened, and our guest last night said he was surprised it hasn't happened before, but anything that, that comes up for you that you would like answers to? Well, I think it's important, you know, astronauts are screened, American astronauts and, and internationals as well, they're screened pretty well with respect to their medical history so that we don't have to deal with problems like this. But if we think to the future and commercial space travel and more people having that opportunity, you may not be able to circumvent all the possible issues. So for me, if you just take this incident where we can bring them home safely, there's no big deal, it's all gonna work out just fine. But now think about what would have happened had they been halfway to Mars on a six to nine month mission. Wow. You couldn't bring them home, right? So what do you do? So can, do you need to have a doctor on board? Do you need to have a medical facility uh, in your spaceship that's traveling from point A to B? And in this case specifically, imagine this, if, if we would have needed an IV for this crew member and you put the needle in the arm and all those things and you have the saline flowing now, what do you do about their spacesuit? Do you put them in their spacesuit or leave them out of their spacesuit? Uh, do we have spacesuits in the future that have a port that allow you to do some kind of IV? I don't know, but we need to start thinking about this sort of thing and putting funding toward investigating ways to make it happen. Because if we're going to go to Mars on a six to nine month journey, uh, there's a possibility that strokes and, and kidney stones and uh, all those kind of things could happen when you're halfway there. Hmm, fascinating. Any other final thoughts? Well, I think that they're going to get home safely today or tomorrow, and I wish them Godspeed, and I hope that crew member gets back to normal as quickly as possible, and uh, we need to keep pushing the envelope forward. Clayton Anderson, thanks so much for joining.